Hello everybody, welcome to my video and thank you for joining in. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be talking about the Wisconsin Badgers 2020 football schedule. I'm going to break down every game, I'm going to give an overall record prediction at the end of the video, and I'm also going to talk a little bit at the start of the video about their roster for the upcoming season and how they did last season. So first with how they did last season, they overall finished 10-4. and four. They had four losses, two of them coming to Ohio State, both double-digit losses. One was in the regular season, one was in the Big Ten Championship game. They also had a loss to Illinois, a huge upset. They lost in a game-winning field goal. And then they lost to Oregon in the Rose Bowl. But they very well could have been a two-loss team or even a one-loss team. Uh, just, you know, the Illinois and Oregon losses, they were tough losses. They got a little bit unfortunate um, in the final seconds of those games. Uh, so today, I'm going to be talking about just this upcoming season and the roster, like I said. The roster overall, uh, you look at it, it, I feel like it's not going to be as good as it was this past season. Their defense should be fine. It should be a top five defense in the nation like it was last year. But their offense is what concerns me. Jack Cohen's going to be the starting QB. He's a little bit experienced now, but I don't think he's that great. And then they're losing Jonathan Taylor, their best player last year. He was one of the best running backs, if not the best running back in all of college football. So losing him is going to hurt. So roster-wise, I think Wisconsin might be a little bit worse next season. Schedule-wise, looking at this schedule compared to last year's schedule, it's kind of clear that this one's a little bit harder. You know, Notre Dame, that looks like it might be a hard game. App State, you know, App State went 12, went 13 and 1 last year. And then, of course, you have to play teams like Michigan. But I'm going to break down every game, starting with one now. Uh, Indiana, that's the first week of the season. Indiana gave Penn State a little bit of trouble last season. They, they gave some good teams some trouble. So, you know, Indiana could be a threat. I don't think they'll be able to beat Wisconsin in Wisconsin. Uh, so I have the Badgers here. But, you know, they could definitely put up some competition Southern Illinois, easy game. Wisconsin wins that. App State, this could be a tough one for Wisconsin. Like I said, App State went 13-1 last year. They were a Sun Belt team, but still they went 13-1, and we all remember that upset against Michigan. So, you know, I wouldn't be completely shocked if App State won. I'm taking Wisconsin. It's at home, and obviously Wisconsin plays in a much better conference so I'll take the Badgers, but you know, you never know. App State beat Michigan. They could probably do it to Wisconsin. At Michigan, this is going to be tough. After that blowout last year over Michigan, uh, Michigan's going to want revenge on Wisconsin. They're not going to. They're not happy about that blowout loss. And it's at the Big House. That's such a tough place to play. Last time Wisconsin went to, went to the Big House, it did not end well for the Badgers. I don't think it's going to end well this time either. I have Michigan winning this game. That's probably their first loss, being realistic. That's probably their first loss. They should start out around 3-1. and one. Uh, I just feel like the big house is going to be t too tough of a place to play uh, for Wisconsin. Notre Dame, another tough game here. Notre, Dame's, I, Notre Dame, in my opinion, is going to be better than Michigan next season. I think they'll be a top-10 team. So this is going to be tough. It's in Green Bay on the first week of October. Game day is probably going to go here. Neutral site game. Uh, Wisconsin has played well in Green Bay. I believe they played LSU a few years ago in Green, Green Bay. It went well then. This time around, you know, I don't know if it's going to go very well for Wisconsin. I feel like Notre Dame is very good. Uh, I feel like they have a pretty good offense despite, lo despite losing Cole Kamen and Chase Claypool. They're still going to get Ian Book back at the quarterback. Uh, so I have high hopes for Notre Dame, and I think they might win this game against Wisconsin at the neutral site. Their fans travel pretty well anyway, uh, so it should be inter interesting to see how it goes, but I have Notre Dame winning this one. Six, Minnesota. So at this point, Wisconsin, I have losing two straight games, and they're 3-2. and This will be a big game. Obviously, Wisconsin blew out Minnesota to win the Big Ten West title last season. Minnesota only had one loss coming in that game, and Wisconsin blew them out on the road. This time around, I think it'll be more challenging. I think Minnesota will play better. They're pretty much getting everybody else back. Uh, you know, they might be losing a couple of guys, but most guys are coming back. Uh, and Wisconsin, obviously, is losing Jonathan Taylor. So I think it's going to be closer. But at the end of the day, it's in Wisconsin. I think it's a tough place to play, Camp Randall. I have Wisconsin winning, but I think it's going to be close.
They start out 4-2 and two overall. That's what I have them at. Bye week. Perfect time to have the bye week, uh, you know, in the middle of the season. 8 at Maryland. That'll be an easy one. No challenge there. 9, Illinois. I'm sure Wisconsin will be wanting revenge. I think they win that game pretty easily. Uh, you know, it's a home game. I think they can get it done. At Northwestern, that should be an easy one for them. Northwestern, just terrible season this past season compared to the year before. You know, they might bounce back, but I don't think they will that much. So I still have Wisconsin winning. At Purdue, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one, I think. I think Purdue's going to be okay next season. I don't think they're going to be that bad. Uh, it's a tough place to play, Purdue. I honestly have Purdue winning this one. I'm not even joking. I actually have Purdue winning this one. I think this is where Wisconsin gets upset. They might not be expecting it. This is a perfect uh, game where Wisconsin could get upset in. So I have Purdue actually winning this one. Nebraska, I think Wisconsin wins that one at home. It should be pretty easy. At Iowa, Iowa's losing a lot of their key players. You know, it's in Kinnick in November, late November. That's very tough to play at. Uh, so Wisconsin definitely will have trouble. But at the end of the day, I still feel like they can get it done. They could very well at this point still be in the Big Ten, Ten West race. I actually think they will be in the Big Ten West race at this point, if you look at it, because the Big Ten West doesn't look that great. And I have all their losses besides Purdue coming out outside of the Big Ten West. So I have I have Wisconsin winning this one. Overall, they finished 9-3. With only two Big Ten losses, one being to Purdue, one being to Michigan, that I think is actually going to be enough to get them to the Big Ten championship game. I honestly think there's a good chance of Ohio State and Wisconsin playing in a rematch in the Big Ten championship game this upcoming season. You know, they've played three times already in the Big Ten championship in the Big Ten championship error, and that error didn't start or didn't you know, start until like 2011, I believe. Uh, so they've played a lot in the Big Ten Championship game. I think it could happen again. Of course, like I said, one of those one of those losses comes out of conference in Notre Dame, two in conference. I think the Minnesota one and the Iowa ones, they're, those are going to be the big games, and that will give them the tiebreakers because I think Minnesota either loses to Michigan or some other team. So I think Minnesota has two Big Ten losses, and I think Iowa has three Big Ten losses. They have to play Penn State, Ohio State. Uh, so I think Wisconsin actually sneaks into, big, sneaks into the Big Ten title game, even though they only go 9-3. and three. Uh, so that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and check out all my other videos.